Are you ready to kick off the holidays with some retro fun? Then come to Miracle on Liberty. It's a Christmas themed pop up bar in downtown Pittsburgh. It's filled with all kinds of kitschy, some say tacky decorations and themed cocktails. Of course, It's now open every day until New Year's. And that's where we find Katie Selena Pompiani this morning who volunteered. Of course, she volunteered to check it out for us. Selena, I already saw you sipping on something. <laughs> I was already sipping on a delicious Christmas cocktail, and we will get to that coming up in a little bit, Heather. But this is the third year that Miracle on Liberty has opened its doors to downtown Pittsburgh. They had their grand opening on Friday for Black Friday, and they had a huge crowd all throughout the weekend. So to tell us more about this adorable bar, it looks like Christmas threw up in here in a good way, I promise, is owner and operator Spencer Warren. Spencer, thank you so much for joining us on PTL today. Tell us why you wanted to come back for your third year. Thank you. We love the holidays and we love seeing everyone's faces when they come to the space and also helping raise money for a good cause. Yeah, tell us more about what you're raising money towards this year. So this year we always do 412 Food Rescue um, and then this year we're adding on the Tree of Life Foundation as well uh, to kind of splitting the profit or the proceeds going to them as well as on the first day of Hanukkah, which is next Sunday, we're donating all of the sales to that. As well. That's wonderful. That's a wonderful cause. So let's walk through the bar so we could give our viewers a little taste of what they can expect. For those who haven't been in the past, what is it like when you walk through the doors of Miracle on Liberty? It's kind of, you know, draw, jaw dropping when you walk in the ornaments, the lights on the ceiling with the, the stockings and everything. And then we go into the Christmas tree land down here. Um, and it is, like you said, Christmas kind of threw up everywhere. It's all the volunteers and all the donations. We put, try and put everything up that we can to kind of make it festive and fun. Yeah, and you will be open up until New Year's Eve. Like we mentioned, your grim, grand opening was on Friday. What was the crowd like for Black Friday and throughout the first weekend? It was a great crowd. Everyone was very excited to be here. We had a nice line before we opened up. And then just everyone was excited, like I said, the music and the vibe and trying the new cocktails with the new glassware. And it was a lot of fun and enjoyable. Now, when I walked in the space, this is my first time here this year, and I'm coming back this weekend with some friends, so I'm going to get a little tease for them today. But this was just an empty storefront. How did you transform it, and how long did it take to put these decorations up? Uh, a lot of time and effort, but about a week we did it with probably 10 volunteers a day hanging everything. Some people take, spend just the whole day hanging the ornaments from the ceiling. Um, and it's kind of a, twice as much as it's been in the years past. Every year we get more and more stuff because of the donations and everyone kind of helping out and a lot of goodwill searching. That's what you said, a lot of goodwill searching. And you started in January of last year, am I right? Yes, because that's when everyone kind of gets rid of their stuff. So we start <laughs> buying it back. And then it continues throughout the year. Every goodwill, thrift store, antique shop. I love the old vintage creepy things and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So that works out. Yeah, it looks wonderful in here. It's so festive. And stay tuned, guys. Coming up, we will be making some of their most popular Christmas cocktails. You'll see it all behind their wonderful bar back here. So really delicious cocktails. And we'll show you how to make some of them. Plus, I'll be trying them. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay. <laughs> so stay tuned. That is coming up right here on Pittsburgh Today Live. Heather, back to you in the studio. Selena, I'm so jealous of your assignment this morning. We can't wait to check back with you.